we're going to start using the back and show you how you have to stand in the first place. Very simple way, put your feet together, then move to each direction. This is how you're going to stand in front of the back. Uh, position is right, uh, and then you can start throwing the punches. Again, nail the punch. When you're going to throw the punch, make sure that the, your arm is straight on. From the shoulder right to the knuckle, you're going to straight line. No weak links at all. If you bend in some place, this is the damage going to be. And if you bend in the in a elbow, your elbow going to be sore. If you're doing some bend in the wrist, going to be sore there. And make sure that your arm is straight on. Against the, uh, the powerful... Okay, every combination starts with a front jab. Very simple punch, but you need to do it correctly. Your positioning, which you already showed before. And then you're gonna transfer the, your weight from the back feet to the front and throw the punch. Simple. We're gonna start with a very simple combination, which is one two. One two combination. It's a very basic and important in the fight, but same time it's a great twisting in the back. Do one two combination many times. Don't forget about your technique, position of your arm. Don't damage yourself. <coughs> Straight right hand upstairs by Costa Zoo. Another one, and there he goes again. That was a good one. The right hand rocked him off. I think Costa's been busy. I think he's thrown more, and I think he's landed more. First right hand come nearly comes through, and this is right on the chin. I've seen he's become a little lazy in the beginning. I've seen the, how he come in, and uh, look at him. He's uh, really uh, look at his eyes. Tighten up, get 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 your head together, and look for that shot like that right there. There he goes. Like that the right there. Right hand oh. from Kim Zoo. As a campo in trouble, he's on, he's on, he's on. There's a long time left in this round. Yeah, I think today, you know, sometimes the media make it seem like not getting hit is like, like a bad word. Like, oh, you gotta take two to give one. It's like, nah, that's not the school that I came from. Like, we came from hitting and not getting hit. And it doesn't mean that, like, if anybody's watched my fights, like, I don't mind getting there, getting, getting rough, and, but I don't wanna give you any free shots. Like, I, I'm not gonna give you free shots. And that's just the school that I've come from. And we, t we said drill, drill, drill so many times uh, in this conversation, but again, it goes back to, to drilling, you know, just, not being mindless, not just throwing one, two, three. Well, <laughs> that, that's, that pause right there means you may be getting hit. Like, something's coming back. So you can work on boom, 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 ha, ha. Boom, 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 ha, ha. Always just, in, you know, just telling yourself that something's coming back. And it, maybe it doesn't. But when it does, you're, it's ingrained in you. You know, it's in your DNA now just to punch and not run, not, not you know, Look weird in there, but just boom, 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 and work on my stiff arm. Boom, 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 ha. Boom, 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 ha. Anticipate, like my last fighter had a good right hand. So, doesn't really have much of a hook. So yeah, I'm keeping my hand up here, but the main thing I'm working on is this. If I can perfect getting this hand up at the right time, his, you know, opportunity to land the right hand is gonna go down, down, down. And then I'll see myself doing it in the fight, and it's so exciting when you see what you've been working on in here transferred over 
into a real fight. So just again, being mindful of it, like wanting to get out of the way and then actually working on it. And then you'll see it just, again, it'll be in your DNA, man. It'll just be a part of what you do. The anchor punch that I called, Step and Fetch It helped me to develop this punch, the old great Step and Fetch It. So here's the punch I used. The son of this one is coming in me with a jab, or whoever it is, and it's the impact that get him. He's jumping in with a left, and right with split second timing, I move back just before he punched and meet him head on, see? And remember, when I throw this punch, he had just missed and fell forward. There he is. The key, the key to, to the key to the fight game, this period. The key is to take less punishment, keep a motherfucker on the outside as much as possible. Because remember, you got a lot of fighters. All they know is just fighting the inside. That's all they know is fighting the inside. You gonna be a versatile fight where you can beat them in the inside and the outside. Because some fights you are gonna have to fight a motherfucker inside. They gonna they gonna they gonna just close the gap when you period and make you fight. You don't have no choice. But the less punishment, the less punishment you take, the longer you last in the sport. Because you know. I was in this shit 21 years. So you're going to be okay because you, you got the skills. And at the end of the day, as you get older, you, the power going to come. You're young right now. So when you get older, the power going to come. Your man strength going to come. So it's going to be, so sometimes the same shots you hit and got when you're young, you're like, damn, I hit him a good shot, he ain't going nowhere. But once you get to that man strength, you hit him, he going to go instant. The jab has been connecting almost at will for Devin Haney. And he looks beautiful right now. He's, he's so polished. He looks like flashes of Floyd Mayweather Jr. right there with that jab, that distance, that discipline, the pop. between the gloves. That's what that's what Regis needs to do. It's a second uppercut that Haney lands, and that's the money put to third. This type of range is the kind of range Haney wants to be at. So what he need to work on is third down he can slip it on the inside right. or going to the outside. Damn, because he be letting my boys get away with the jab. Right. Even, even sometimes he'll parry like this. I'm gonna yeah. teach him that. Like, how do you, you take away the confidence early? Girl, that's right. Make a miss the jab count. Right. 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 Throw the jab, just throw it straight in. Throw that in. Right. Bam. Right. Just doing that. Just bam. Right. But you gotta scare, you gotta slip. Don't be scared, you gotta be able to slip on the inside. Home stage. Is that? Because you were scared the shit out of my friend. Oh, yeah. If I throw a lazy jab, oh, he's gonna, sure. he, he, he gonna count sure. it. Sure. Sure.
I'm Joe Calzaghi, uh, WBO Super Weight Champion of the World. And uh, I'm going to show you how to throw a combination. Obviously, it depends on the opponent I box. Um, obviously, me being a southpaw left handed, I try and get away from the right handed right hand. So, my idea for me is to move, always move to my right. So, when they throw in their jab, obviously, I move this way, counter with the right hand. And that's how it puts, puts me in a good position. So, I always move this way. And uh, the orthodox guy tries to move that way to catch me the right hand. So, I'm always trying to move this way like this. And technically, have taken account for touching down earlier on in the round. of the unpronounceable perhaps here <laughs> he was saying having looked at the McCurchian videos that he he was quite awkward Another one isn't just around the corner if you don't do it tonight. So I always keep my right hand out a bit out like this as well, so I can just just feint, kind of parry the jab. I come over the top again like that, and it comes open for the left hand. It's hard uh, to get anywhere near Kalzaki on points because he is so quick, so technically. Behind him on 14. Well, good skills he showed in that round. Really did. The, the jabbing was good. The counters. That's my favourite. Another favourite one is faint with a faint with a jab. Look as if I'm going to throw the body, then bang over the left hand. Not plenty of guys up with that punch. Favourite shot. Against the Mario Vite, I work the treat and just keep looking at the body and bang over the top and couldn't miss him. Is tall in range, Steve. If he can use that jab, he could be dangerous. Fight looking to make this a tactical fight. Basically operates from the outside, looks to keep his distance. Because yeah, I just did something very smart. First two or three shots through to the body, and then we went upstairs. And down goes Fight. Seconds into the fight. My biggest strength is probably my hand speed. You know, speed and time is what knocks fighters out. What I do a lot is try and confuse fighters by you throwing a lot of punches, maybe half a dozen quick shots like this, and then I'll set them up as they cover up and get a bit flustered. I can see openings there, maybe break the body or a big upper cut or big right arm, big left hook. So that's basically what I do. You know, I throw a lot of punches, but you know, sometimes they may look like slaps as they've been, but they're not, believe me, they are very confusing and pitiful shots, but it puts me an angle there where I can then load some big punches and sort of uh, you know, bust them up gradually. That 
that turn will win you each round as they come and continue to execute. And by the end of the fight, your hand is going to be raised. All right. Um, question How to deal with good head movement? When a guy has good head movement, don't aim at the head. It's pretty obvious, right? So usually when a guy is slipping, you'll, you'll catch on after a couple seconds or shit, some guy, maybe a couple rounds. You'll start getting his rhythm down. You'll start getting his head movement down. So start throwing at where the target's going to be. If you see him on certain punches, maybe start baiting a lot. If he moves a certain way, throw your punch at where he's going to be. Just like a quarterback when he hits a receiver on a route. He don't throw it right to the receiver. He throws it to where the receiver ends the route. And that's kind of the same thing with somebody that got good head movement. If they're ducking under a lot, start throwing your punch at the chest. If they're moving, slipping to their left on a certain punch, put your punch out there to the left and let them move into it. Herrera boxing, not just waiting in, gets to the body, wobbles now with a left hook upstairs. Very effectively in round one. He's landed two big left hooks upstairs and a couple of shots to the body. Naz hasn't done any real damage. Herrera fighting an intelligent, Measured fighter against an awkward fighter. Um, good question was, what is the best time to throw an uppercut? Um, you have to know. Usually an uppercut is set up. So if we're fighting and he's just staying like that the entire time and he's jabbing, don't throw an uppercut because when you throw an uppercut, it leaves you wide open. You know, there's no real need to throw an uppercut when somebody's in an upright position. So the best time is if he's bobbing and weaving, I'm going to keep throwing my jab at him and then I'm going to time it and throw an uppercut when he ducks down right into the, the uppercut. Or if we're on the inside and he's just laying in, yeah, boom, I can throw uppercuts at that point. There's nothing wrong with that. So you want to time your opponent. Usually you want to give it a couple rounds before you start letting loose on the uppercuts and when they're bobbing and weaving and coming into it, that's when you throw it. But if a guy is staying upright and he's just throwing jabs, there's no need for me to throw an uppercut because I have to you know, I have to reach for it and it's not good. Talking about yourself, tell me about that style of yours, that, that snake fish jab of yours. Where did it come from? <laughs> well, let's, let's have a show me this. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Well, you know, don't ring no bell, y'all. <laughs> stand up, stand up. Show me this jab because you, 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 you slung it a couple of times. It's pretty fast. Yeah. Just hold that hand up. See, I'm, I'm going to show you the whole thing. The, what fighters do today, they do like this. That's okay, right? Mm -hmm. But if a fighter would do like this, loosen it up. <laughs> it don't hurt, do it. That's, that's <laughs> fast. But it frustrates you. Don't get scared. How quick is that? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the background to the jab. What, 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 where's the philosophy for you? Where's it flat. coming from? Slap. You don't punch with a jab, you slap him with a jab. Did you see? You didn't feel that. Mm -hmm. You felt it, but you didn't feel it. Because you're still going to let somebody out. Why yeah. would you do that? It's because it's not closed tight. If I tighten up, it won't be as quick. So I keep it loose, and I hit to punch loose, and when I come out, I turn here, and I catch it with the knuckle part. That's the part that hurt. And after you make them drunk, then you mug them real tight. Wop! Wop! So, so, so the slap is a, a range finder. Yeah. Then the mugger is when you close it up tight. That's why I go wop, 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 wop. Any way you want to get it, you know? Yeah. Just, just relax. Did, did, you, did you develop that from Ali? Yeah. Did no. you, did you... Ali don't do it like that. I was faster than Ali. So who did it before you? Nobody. It's mine. I ain't letting nobody have it, but they're going to steal it anyway. But let me just tell you something. Ali, they say how quick he was. I used to try to find out who was the quickest. I'm going to try to knock his jab down with this hand. Bam. If I hit him with this hand, bam, I'm quicker than him. I did pow, pow. I done it all day long. That made me quicker than Ali. Or when he jab, jab with him. Pow. If my jab lands first, I'm quicker than him. Tiwa
っと、まずミニストレートを左フックで相手のバランスを崩してミニアッパーこの左フックで、えー、ミニアッパーを打ちやすい体勢に持っていくというのがコツになりますさあチャレンジャーの決断です<笑>この時コツなのはこのやっぱり右ストレートの最初の時に、えー、避けながら、えー、左フックで自分の打ちやすい体勢に持っていくここが一番大事ですさあ接近戦になった大橋的確に相手を捉えている正確だでこの右アッパーは、えー、すごく、えーこれが当たると非常にダメージを与えるパンチですのでまた同時にこの打たれた方はすごくショックを受けるカウンターというか、えー、本当にこれは井上選手は得意なパンチですのでぜひ試してくださいいきますであの井上選手を見れば分かるようにこの左フックを回した時この腰肩この体勢ですね常に右アッパーをまっすぐ強く打っていける体勢ここは大事ですので、えー、ぜひ、えー、やってください以上ですまずねもっとそのステップワークを好きねバックステップにしてもサイドステップにしてももっとこう密度濃くして、まあ、どの相手でもそういう動きができるようにっていうのは志でやってます、うん、対策をしっかりしていますねなるほどこのアッパーというのが一つここは勝負ですよ、コール選手このまま耐えられず井上は試験官いきだー Now I'll show you a couple of tricks by tricks What do you use it? Trick Here The first one I want to show to you is a guy who always comes to defend himself. You take, you take his hand, push it, pull it out, and at the same time you make it. The same thing you do. То же самое, вы ставите руку сверху. Yeah, you put your hand on top of it. В районе пальца. Somewhere about like where the you can hold, you can pick the the thumb. Делайте просто вы выбираете сторону, в это время бьете. Это это выглядит примерно вот так. Or you can do that with the hand, straight punch into the body. Сначала несколько раз ты делал вот это, потом на руку. Then you try to trick him. Then your opponent gets used to it. После этого ты подбиваешь вверх, ты подбиваешь под. And then after that, you bring your hands up and put in the body.
hooks. Hooks to the body are something that usually it's a, with guys, it's a, you know, hook to the body, hook to the head. Right. And you did that pretty, pretty well. But right. you, you also mastered, you know, head, body. body. And that, but Something that uh, right. Arturo Gotti found out in round number nine. Right, yeah. First I, fight. Well, I wish he stood down, but he didn't. <laughs> but I, what I would do is I would, I would actually be out here, and when I'd get in, I'd kind of switch. So when I'd be inside with you, I, I would tap, I'd be in, don't be backing up now. All right. <laughs> 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 I'd tap right here, so your hand come up, you bring your hand up, and I'd, boom. I'd tap here, bring your hand up, and I'd, right in the liver. Once your hand goes up, yeah, boom, right there. I, I thought you told me you hated it. liver. I do hate it. <laughs> I like to hit it. He hasn't been in this kind of a war with as a strong a fighter as Ward before. Body shot again. That's the body shot. It's the left hook to the body Ward's money punch, and this knockdown counts. And he is hurt. This is it. It's, it's not going to recover. It's not like a hit. One of the things you did, and, and Ali will attest to this, Ali still was trying to move when you faced him. We're going to talk about cutting off the ring. And now I can still, I can do a pretty good uh, Ali movement invitation. So you're going to cut the ring off. Show me how you'd cut the ring off with Ali. I'm a, I'm, I'm a shorter version of Ali. All you got to do here, step over here and step in. Step over here, step in. Always, when you step to, when you step to the guy, step over here. I mean, I'm getting close to you. Here, strike it away. Oh, I'm getting close to you. Up. I'm, I'm, I'm cutting you off. See what? We, we don't want any mistakes now. Yeah. See, when you, you, you get the guy, how you do, you step in here, step over here, step over and step in, boom. You always move, move close to him. You move close. So when you get in the, in the corner there, bingo. You, you, you step over here, you're stepping in. Step over here, you're stepping in. Go, you're going to cut him off sooner or later, you'll get him. Show me your finishing combination. You've already landed a little right hand. I'm in a little bit of trouble. What do you, how do you finish the guy off? Once I land on my hand, the ball game's over. Well, it was a glancing right. I was, I, you, you caught me with a glancing right. I'm in some trouble. Show me your finishing, uh, your signature finishing combo, the Ernie Shavers finish. Right hand, bing, left hook, boom, boom. That's it. That's left it. hook. Lights out. Bing. That's it. You ever see Mayweather, when he, when he do the fates, his it's, it's, it's hands down, his hands down, it's like this. And it's like this, you're taking his hand and doing this, and the guy normally reacts to it, and he'll react to it, and then you touch him again, you touch him. So it's almost like you're, 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 you're fake stepping, you're just you're trying to get the guy to come in. Well, the measurement, the jab is not actually the jab in your hand. He you made the jab at feet. It's getting in position. This is only to keep you uncomfortable and get in position. But if you see how this is called the grasshopper, because you look at a grasshopper's leg, it's bent, right? So you got this bent, and you got this here, and this is, this, this is, this is basically distracting me. But I'm really getting in position with this, I'm creeping. But this here got you blinded, you don't see the feet or the feet moving towards you. So this is, and then if you react somehow and you charge me, this comes up and I block you with it. But if I show you from here, this is the fake. The fake move you from here. Everybody know, because you got the left hand down, and you got here, nobody facing do this. On the street, we used to do this. Yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> but in boxing, if we're going to like try to fake you out, we do this. You know what I mean? We do this. You know what I mean? If anything, we might do this like that, but that's only to show off most of the time. But many times, we, we do this. We get up in your face, and, and we do this, and we do this. But a lot of it is not a lot of different moves and giving fakes. I make different moves. Guys like Floyd, guys like Roy, when he was in his prime, like, like we knew how to do other things and just do this. Like the average giving you those fakes is this. You know what I mean? But you don't do these things just to do them. What's the purpose of doing them? A guy just looking at you, he ain't reacting to it. You do fakes on certain fighters that you know that they react to it. And they might react to it by every time you do something, they're doing this, and then boom, you go. You know what I mean? Or then you just go without faking. But the, the, 
you, we know who to do it with and know who to, not to do it with. Okay. You ever see a movie? No, it's like this. We go like, like. So like a little fake pop. You ever see guys go to the body, but then they go to the right hand, but it's a fake. So you do you do a tag, fake to the body, right hand to the head. Okay. Or fake to the body, left hand to the head. You can do whatever you want to do okay. once you fake a guy and think you come here. Very surprised. That's a dangerous position to be. Knowing that he's intent. Hard right hand by Hopkins. Biggest blow in the fight. Trinidad momentarily stunned. Bell, 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 bell. Bell, bell, bell. You've got to do something for oh, oh, brilliant right hand! What Los fundamentos, los básicos del boxeo, pero... Lo vimos recientemente, el boxeo también tiene ciertas mañas como lo de Amir Khan y Crawford. Ah, el golpe va. El golpe va, es O sea, le están diciendo que yo soy cochino. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Mañoso no es lo mismo que cochino. ¿Por qué? Si tú. Bueno, mira, todos los boxeadores, lógicamente, a través de los años, a través de tantas peleas. Se hace uno experimentado Ajá. y a veces es mañoso, de verdad. Exactamente. Yo, por ejemplo, por eso cuando peleaba, estaba aquí en corto y metía mucho, me cubría mucho con el, con el, con el codo. Con el codo para, porque mira, tírame la derecha, tírame la derecha. No, no entra. No entra. No entra. No entra no la izquierda. Entra. Pues no izquierda, la puedo ni sacar. ¿Me entiendes? Entonces, entonces ya va. Y es por eso que yo decía. <risa> 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 Boxing, this is what is called infighting. Chavez is regarded as one of the very best in the sport at it. Mayweather is holding his own. Bernie, how do you see it right now? 67 and 66, Frankie Randall ahead. And the track record shows you that Roger Mayweather is a very good professional fighter. Julio Cesar Chavez has never lost. Otra, otra, otra cosa que yo cuando peleaba también me ponía también de este lado, espera, 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 no, 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 de este lado, ¿por qué me ponía de este lado? Porque trata de tirarte un golpe tú, trata de un golpe, entonces mira, yo lo que hacía, yo lo que hacía era esto, me decía para acá, me decía para acá esto y luego, ¿me entienden? Did get hit twice with the right in the last round. Oh, y, y otra cosa a veces, si quieres ser loco, se cochino, o sea, mañoso, ¿no? mañoso, mañoso, va, va, está así, va, y luego oh. te, te hace así. Oh. Oh. <laughs> One step back, let him go, let him go, one step back. Well, that was a low blow. It's a good thing he was on the other side of Mills Wing. No, 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 no,
Y luego se, se hace uno para este lado y. ¿Me entiendes? ¿Me entiendes? ¿A, ti te, a ti te llegaron a dar un golpe. Ah, en el claro, sí, mira. Que, que, o sea, está uno peleando, no. Está en un corno así, pa, pa, pa. Y la pelea está dura, pa, pa, pa. Entonces se hace uno para acá y. ¡Ah! ¡Ah! Uh, uh. Sí, pero el primero es el que está con ustedes. Porque hay unos boxeadores que la verdad. Sí. Son bien mañosos para usar la cabeza. Cuando uno quiere tirar el gancho, Ajá. uno va, va con la cabeza. Si uno quiere cortarlo, sí. va vas primero con la cabeza, con la cabeza y, y luego rematas. Y luego rematas. O sea, sí. mira, mira, fíjate, bien así. Sí. sí. Ah. <risa> Specialty right here, <laughs> yeah. So I like, like, I mean, some. It, again, it just depends on the fighter. Some people, like, I met a guy in the, the New York gym. He was like, "Look, man, I like to fight. Like, I don't, I don't do that counter punching. I like to go to war. That's just what it is. Like, some guys, that's just the mentality, and you have to train him accordingly. But some guys, they're like, man, I don't really want to get hit like that. That's me. I don't, I, I don't want you to touch me. If I can get through a 12 round fight. And count on one hand the amount of times you landed a clean shot, that's a good night for me. I don't like the bumps and bruises. I'll take it if I have to, but I don't want to. And let's get right here. I've just learned now you just like you want us to face? His back's to you guys. Yeah, yeah. So I think counter punching is having good eyes, and then you feel your opponent. It's weird. Like you can't you can't really teach it, but you just feel it. It's like being inside sometimes, like sometimes we'll be inside and I can, my head will be here and he'll try to throw this punch and I can feel it. And I just, like, I, I don't know. I just felt it coming because I've been doing so many rounds. So it's the same thing with counter punch. Even, even if we're on the outside, like I know, throw a jab. <laughs> counter punching is really cool for a lot of reasons, but one of it is it, it discourages the opponent. I know when I get counter punched, it makes me pause like, whoa. You don't want to throw that same punch again. If you threw a right hand, boom, it got hit with a hook, you're probably going to think twice before you throw that right hand again. If somebody's fast enough or skillful enough or has good enough timing, because sometimes a fighter may not have the speed or the quickness, but their timing is immaculate. And you throw a jab, boom, you get hit with a right hand. What's the natural thing to do? You're going to think twice before you throw it again. So it's, it could be debilitating if used the right way. And it's times to, you know, it's times to go on the offensive and, and, and lead. But I've learned that the counter punching works wonders and it, it causes them to show their hand first. So if I fight a 12 round fight, some you know, obviously the, the amateur shows are a lot quicker, you don't have that much time to think. You like I get to see what you're about. 
I get to see if you're trying to be aggressive. I get to walk you and look at you. Oh, man, this guy, oh, I see he keeps going like this. Every time he gets an opportunity, he wants to throw this big right hand. Okay, all right, all right. Block, counter. So I get to see what I need to see. It's discouraging you. It's kind of keeping me out of harm's way, but I'm still in enough range to hit you back. There's so many benefits to counterpunching. And um, if done right, man, it could get you over the top for sure.